Hello, welcome to European Open Briefing for Tuesday, February the 19th. I'm Rafi Bajan, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. So it's a fairly quiet start to the day uh, this morning. The focus is still very much on the US-China trade talks. Uh, equity markets are uh, fairly mixed, uh, both in Asia and in Europe. Uh, we, did, uh, we are seeing some moves in the Japanese yen. The yen uh, came under pressure after Bank of Japan Governor Haruko Kuroda uh, raised the prospect of more. Uh, policy easing uh, if the yen uh, remains uh, strong. Um, the dollar uh, we can see against the yen uh, is up currently at 110.75 dollar index, slightly weaker. European currencies are down uh, slightly against the US dollar. Uh, the Aussie, the Kiwi are also down. The Aussie came under pressure after the RBA warned of significant un uncertainties uh, surrounding uh, its forecast in its uh, meeting uh, minutes. But we have seen gold prices uh, reach. 10 months highs, despite uh, the overall um, still uh, risk on sentiment in the markets, uh, the gold is has been benefiting following the Fed's dovish turn, uh, and it's now reached a 10 months high. Uh, looking now more closely at the dollar yen pair, we can see it's been slowly uh, crawling outwards uh, since those lows uh, early in February. Uh, it so it, it's, it's uh, rising further this morning following those remarks by Bank of Japan Governor Haruko Kuroda speaking in Japanese Parliament, uh, where he said that the bank would consider easing policy uh, further if the strong yen does start weighing on the economy and on prices. Uh, but of course, uh, given that we also have trade optimism, the dollar's gains uh, have uh, been somewhat capped. Uh, so the US-China trade talks will resume in Washington later today uh, and will turn higher level uh, later in the week when the Chinese Vice Premier will join the talks on Thursday. Uh, there were more tweeting, tweets by President Trump. Uh, yesterday he said we're making a lot of progress. Uh, so uh, hopes are high that um, we could potentially see a deal uh, by the March 1st or soon after uh, that uh, deadline. Uh, the euro, though, uh, it's struggling to hold on to 1.13 handle. We're seeing more and more dovish remarks coming out of uh, the ECB. Uh, yesterday, the chief economist Peter Pride said that if growth in the euro area was to slow further, then the bank might need to revise its guidance on interest rates. Um, and uh, we're, there's also rising speculation of a new round of Taltro, that's a cheap lending uh, facility uh, for uh, banks in order to uh, stimulate borrowing. Uh, looking at sterling now, we can see the pound is comfortably holding above the 1.29 handle. Uh, there was some surprise yesterday after seven uh, opposition MPs quit the Labour Party uh, over uh, the party stance on Brexit as well as on anti-Semitism. Uh, there wasn't that much of a reaction uh, in the markets on that, but it nevertheless highlights uh, the uh, sp the split uh, in UK Parliament, not just within the Conservatives, but also in Labour. Uh, but there are some hopes of uh, potential progress in the Brexit talks, the UK Attorney General uh, will be proposing a new legal way forward with regards to the Irish back backstop uh, with uh, when he meets Michel Barnier uh, mid-week. Uh, so the Irish backstop is the main sticking point uh, in the withdrawal agreement. Uh, UK Parliament is opposed to that because it's not time uh, limited. Theresa May, the Prime Minister, will also be meeting with uh, uh, President Juncker. Uh, so potentially there could be some developments uh, later this week. But uh, in the more immediate focus. Uh, is we're going to have UK jobs numbers coming up at 0.930 uh, GMT. Uh, and finally, looking at the Australian dollar, uh, the Aussie has once again come under pressure uh, from uh, the RBA. Uh, in its February meeting, Minister the RBA warned of significant uncertainties around uh, the forecasts. The bank is also worried about the outlook for consumption as well as, of course, the global uh, risks. Uh, so, um, although a uh, rate cut is unlikely in the near future, uh, if the the outlook does deteriorate, uh, the odds for that could rise uh, much more than they are at the moment. Uh, but uh, for looking at this week now, we're going to have job numbers coming out of Australia on Thursday and on Wednesday at 0.30 GMT, we're going to have the fourth quarter uh, wage growth data. So that's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.